Welcome to week two of ICL, um, season three. Um, this week we are going up against Mega Dragon 66, coach of LA Kingdras. Um, so my team is on the left, his team is on the right. Uh, first number is speed, second number is HP. Sometimes I use that if I have a final gambit on, on my team. Um, just to know which bonds I would need to run like max HP to knock out, but uh, don't have a final gambit mod. At least I don't think I do. Um, so that number is not important. Um, his all Z user is Thunder's T and offensive is Landorus T. So he has two Farian forms. Um, kind of scary. Um, so looking at this matchup, um, I'm expecting either Tentacruel or Swampert um, to come um, just because uh, not both uh, because they kind of both serve the same purpose um, being able to phase or get rid of setup on my end um, Swampert uh, might be brought over Tentacruel just for a ground type to take electric moves and to set up rocks. Uh, however, Mega also has Lantern's T, which can take electric moves, so could bring Tentacruel instead for that, um, as well as set up maybe Toxic Spikes um, and for more speed. But Swampert is the more phys or physically bulky, which I feel is more important for his team. Um, to take on something like Mega Gyarados if it sets up a Dragon Dance. Um, um, Lander's T. Um, expecting maybe brought Scarfed just because my fastest mod is actually faster than his fastest mod. Um, surprisingly, even though I have horrible speed tiers, this person's speed tiers are kind of worse than mine, <laughs> at least for speed wise. Um, so Scarf Lando, if it is brought, maybe uh, Rock Polish with Flying MZ. Um, could easily also be brought special with like uh, Empower Ice or something, but thinking more like Scarf also because I believe it gets Superpower, right? Superpower Scarf to possibly also has to be Mega Gyarados at plus one, um, kind of as a panic button. Um, Entei could be brought because uh, even like something like Dawn Fame uh, does not like to take a choice banded Flare Blitz. Uh, Sacred Fire is also kind of a problem for my physical attackers. And also gets that nice priority e speed. Um, Registeel. Registeel is nice and bulky on um, both physically and special. Um, can easily take hits from all my setup mods. Uh, could then paralyze them with something like Thunder Wave or uh, get some whittled down with a toxic. Um, expecting it to be brought with the rocks. Definitely um, something that I'm expecting him to bring like 100% uh, kind of bad place if Mega does not bring Ready Steel. Um, does also get Seismic Toss, which could be a problem. And yeah, uh, definitely going to bring Ready Steel against me. Uh, Spiritomb. Spiritomb is nice with something like Foul Play and Sucker Punch. Uh, game priority chip damage on me um, could be there as a pursuit trapper for something like a frostless or metagross uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a spirit tomb um, and yeah Aurora's Aurora should not come um, even though I really would want Aurora's to be a good Pokemon it is not um, it's speed is pretty bad. It's 
offensive power is pretty bad. Um, it's only somewhat redeemable in bulk with that massive HP stat. Um, but besides that, not a really good mon. So don't expect Aurorus, even if it does come. Uh, that kind of just makes it easier for me. Um, Mega Altaria could easily come. Uh, don't have the best switch-ins for Berry Dragon. Um, best I got would be like a Metagross or Florges. Um, but Mega Altaria does get Fire Blast and Earthquake for that Metagross. So, who knows? Um, if it does come, I'm expecting uh, Dragon and Set uh, three attacks. Maybe not even three attacks. Maybe Dragon Dance, Roost, uh, Return, or whatever normal move it wants. And then Earthquake could easily see that being the set. Um, already went over Swampert. Verizion. Um, Verizion is nice just because it speed ties my Infernape and outspeeds a lot of my mods. Um, grass fighting is also somewhat decent coverage against me. Uh, grass is probably the best type actually against me. Um, good against the Mega Gyarados, Domfan, uh, Regirock, which are like my main bulky core. Uh, fighting also good against Snorlax. Um, so basically my defensive core is not that good against Verizion. So really expecting to see that. If not, that will alleviate some pressure on my defenses. Um, Hoopa. Hoopa is kind of a wild card, but uh, not expecting to see it um, unless it's like scarfed because it would not like to take a shadow ball from my Frostless, which outspeeds. Um, does not want to deal with Mega Gyarados, which outspeeds it. Um, can't do that much against my slower mons um, just because of their bulk. Um, the speed tides of Metagross does not want to take a Meteor Mash from Metagross, so most likely won't be seeing that Hoopa. And then Thunderous T um, definitely should be brought. Um, outspeeds a good chunk of my mons and can do a lot of damage with a Z move. Uh, probably most likely going to see a Z focus blast. Um, mainly there since my best probably wall to it is Snorlax. Um, and yeah, Thunderbolt does a lot to my offensive core and can easily come in on an electric move from my own Thunderous and heal up. So expecting that. Um, team comp, um, probably Thunderous, uh, Verizion, uh, Registeel, uh, Mega Altaria, uh, Landorus, Therian. And then last mon would be probably Spiritum or Tentacruel, one of those two. I could see coming as that team. Um, so getting into my team. Um, first off, I have King of Moki, uh, Snorlax, Chuckleberry, Thick Fat Ability. Um, with this spread, I will not be able to be too shot by a banded Entei. Uh, can set up curses in front of his physical threats. Uh, can take a Z Focus Blast from Thunderous. Um, Adamant Scarf. Lando could possibly two-shot me if there are rocks up and I take chip, um, but that is fine. Also, a good switch in 
uh, with Dong Fan uh, to switch into Thunderous Varian. Um, if I expect like the HP Ice to come out, go into Snorlax. If I expect the uh, Thunderbolt to go into or Volt Switch to go into Dawn Fan. Um, Curse, Rest, Return, Earthquake can easily set up and destroy Nega's team if he does not have any way like a Haze on Tentacruel or Roar on Swampert to phase me or get rid of my setup. Um, will be a really bad for him. Um, why I am bringing a Mad Sword the Dawn Fan instead of something like Regirock. Uh, as my rock setter this week is because I do want that electric community just in case uh, decides to bring uh, Specs Thunder Spirin. Don't want to be taking all that uh, Volt Switch damage or even a Thunderbolt from that. So, gotta keep this somewhat healthy just so that he cannot choice himself into an electric move. Um, Stealth Rock, real nice against his team. Since his team, I, I feel like against my team, would want to pivot quite a bit. Knock off to get rid of items such as scarfs or specs. Um, on the Thunderous, uh, scarf may be Landorus, uh, useful to do damage. Uh, get rid of leftovers on uh, the Reggie Steel or maybe. Um, Spirit Tomb, um, Earthquake is just a great damaging move against his non-flyers. Uh, really useful for the Registeel and the Registeel, uh, Registeel and Tentacruel. Ice Shard is a real nice priority just in case uh, he gets set up with something like. Uh, his Landorus or, or his Thunderous pairing. Um, even useful for that Mega Altar Altaria. So, really good party damage move. Uh, Rocky Helmet, uh, just to get some extra chip on something like the Entei if it does go for like a Flare Blitz and a Choice Banded. And yeah, that is my sword, the Dawnfin. Uh, Gyarados, Substitute, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Earthquake, um, enough speed to outspeed, uh, what was it, outspeed, Hoopa, uh, right, yeah, outspeed Hoopa, uh, not too worried about outspeeding um, Mug Altaria because it gets up a Dragon Dance before me. I do not want to bring in my Gyarados against it. Uh, Waterfall Earthquake, nice combination of moves to do quite a bit of damage to everything that Nega has. Um, su substitute there is to be able to substitute in front of something like a Registeel if it tries to come in and Thunder Wave me. Just get a free sub against that. Um, and anything else that would like to wall me. Um, starting off with Timmy, and then it goes into Mold Breaker. Uh, don't really need Mold Breaker for anything this week, but Dim Date, nice. Um, Metagross, Weakness Policy, uh, Clear Body. Uh, enough speed to outspeed Scarfed uh, Landorus after an agility. Grass Knight, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt should be able to one shot everything on his team, barring the um, Registeel. Grass Knight there, mainly for Swampert. Um, but yeah, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt demolishes his uh, team. Um, Clear body is also nice to prevent the intimidate coming off of the Landorus. Should be able to take a single hit from most of his team. 
um, even if it's super effective, except maybe uh, if they're like banded, then I would have to worry, but then I would know they're banded. Um, so we're all good there. Uh, Festalist, the Infernape, Focus Sash. Um, this is what I am going to be leading with. Um, Grass Knot, Fire Blast, Gunk Shock, Work Up. This is not a mon that I want to win the game with. This is just a mon that I want to start off with and put some dents into my opponent's team. And that is pretty good. Gunk Shot is there for the Mega Altario. Uh, get some damage on that. Um, Grass Knot Fight is, like I said, Swamper, and then Fire Blast is basically for everything else. Um, after a workup, once I put into Blaze Range, um, I should be able to knock back anything with a Fire Blast. Uh, besides like the Swampert and I guess Tentacruel. But if the Tentacruel is there, then I might actually just lead with Sangha, my Thunderous, my Team Z, Prankster, uh, Defog, King Power Ice, Volt Switch, and Focus Blast. Uh, this spawn is really only here to pivot as well as get rid of hazards against me um, since the rocks are somewhat nice against my Mega Gyarados. Um, and I don't really want Toxic Bikes being up on the field either. Um, Fighting Z is there uh, just to get a hard damaging move up onto something like the Rage of Steel Synth is most likely going to be like a Spadef variant. And that is my team for Mega Dragon 66. Catch you in the battle that will hopefully come out shortly after this video. Bye bye!